First of all, I want to graph a normal curve for a normal distribution that's got a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 5. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to open a um, spreadsheet. And I'm going to, up here, I'm going to press X. So that's my data. X is my data variable. And P for probability. Okay, so this is just our way of kind of defining the variables. Then from here, I'm going to press Menu, Data, and Summary Plot. Okay, so the X list is X, the summary list is P, and I want to choose a new page so we can see it better. Okay, so here's my graph. So if I press Menu, Analyze, and I want to plot a function, so here this comes up, f of x equals what? I'm going to type in norm pdf of, again my variable is x and my mean is 100, comma, and my standard deviation is 5. And I want you to plot that. Now at the moment we can't see it because our window settings aren't correct. So first of all, for my x, if I want to draw this normal curve, I need 100 in the middle. And they need to go up and down by fives. So if I press menu, window, window settings, I want my x min to be about three or four standard deviations below 100. So let's try 80. And then my maximum should be 120. And now my y maximum, it needs to be really small to be able to plot a um, probability. So we'll make it 0 0.1. And there it is, there's my normal curve. So now, I want to find the probability that a randomly selected data value is within one standard deviation of the mean. In other words, between 95 and 105. So what we do is I'm going to graph a vertical line at 95 and 105. So I press Menu, Analyze, and I plot a value now. And my first value is going to be at 95. And there's my vertical line. And then menu, analyze, plot value, 105. Oops. And there it is. Now I want to shade the area and find the area underneath the normal curve between these two points. So I press menu, analyze, shade under function between there and there. And there it is there, 68, 0 0.68, which is what we'd expect. Find the problem that a randomly selected data value is between 90 and 95. So now I better draw for another vertical line at 90. Analyze, plot value, and 90. And now I want to Shade under that menu, analyze, shade under, okay, 0.14 is just in there, okay, so that's the probability. Now, you can do all these in a calculator document, of course, but it's great to be able to see it here. So if I would open a calculator document. So go probability, distributions, normal CDF. Now my lower bound I could say is V3. And my upper bound is V4. And my mean again is 100. And my standard deviation is 5. And it is 68%. So here, this is V3 again and V4, and we get the same area there, 68%. And I can do the same between of V5 and V3. So if I do it again, V5 and V3, and I get approximately 0 0.14 like we got last time, except now we've got more accurate answers.